Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a cool, easy mod that I think makes the car look a little more aggressive and it's actually functional. We're going to be putting some splash guards on there. Yes, they're like mud flaps, but they're molded with the body. So I have them here in the box. Let's open them up and take a look at what we have. Okay, y'all, I did order these on eBay from a Infinity dealer. So they're OEM parts. If you look online, there is also a bunch of like third party ones that might be a little bit cheaper than these, but I just wanted to keep it OEM because I like the fit. And I'm just, I'm about that OEM life sometimes, so. As you can see, these ones are molded perfectly. So it'll go in contour with the body lines exactly the way it should be from the factory. It's got mounting holes. Looks like there's those three and the fourth one right here on the bottom. So I'm really hoping these are easy to throw on. Looks like there's some brief instructions in here. Little bit of hardware. Looks like you get two pop clips in there. A few of the screws. I think that's literally all the hardware. So we're probably, oh, there's one more bag in here, okay. Two more pop clips and then some more hardware. So this is gonna be pretty straightforward. Everything's in there ready to go. I'm gonna take a look at the instructions. We'll probably start with the front and yeah, we're gonna get this installed together. First step in this process is to remove these bottom two here. And there's gonna be a third Phillips, well, it's actually a 10 millimeter on the bottom. And let's jump to the bolt on the bottom. So you'll come down and there's a 10 mil right here. Okay guys, as you line this up, just grab your mud guard or splash shield on the inside, front and left. That's what you're looking for. We're gonna line this up and you're gonna take that 10 mil you just took out, come to the bottom here and Put it back in temporarily. Sweet, so with that in, we'll be able to kind of line this up and mark the holes exactly where we want them. You're gonna have to drill a hole right there and it's a 5 16 or an eight millimeter. So we're gonna mark that. So I'm gonna get this exactly how I want it before I do it. So what I'm gonna do is actually mock in these other two holes here real quick. I just want the fit to be perfect. So what we're gonna do is push this up till it's flush. After test fitting it, I'm not sure if it would still fit super flush here in the corner. It looks pretty good. But what I wanna do, I'm gonna push it up to where it's completely flush like that. And I'm gonna mark this hole and that is where we're going to drill. Okay, we're gonna re-tie in this bottom bolt. We get our pop clip, line it up, and that locks it in place to right there. And then grab the longer screws that are provided There you go, it's installed. First side's done. All right, we're taking a quick look at it. See, goes with the molding perfectly. And I mean, I got it as close as I could to snug. I feel like it could go a hair closer. But this is already as tight as it'll go. I don't know what else you would have to do. Maybe some 3M or something, but otherwise from the sides, it's perfect. So we're gonna do the next. Passenger side in the front. Okay, the rear is gonna be a lot more fun because you gotta drill three holes. So what we're gonna do first, or maybe four holes here because you have to enlarge this, but we're gonna remove this pop clip, which mine looks kind of beat up already. Okay, so after that, we need to enlarge this hole, because we're gonna be putting a 
larger pop clip in there. So here's the large one. And there's the one we just took out. So we need to drill this out with a 10 millimeter bit. And then we can mock it all up, get it drilled out. Mock up the mud guard here. So now we're gonna push this in and make sure that it's lined up the way we want it. Nice and tight. And we're gonna mark where to put these holes. And my tire is in the way. I feel like I'm gonna have to remove it to really get in here and drill. Okay, now I'm gonna take that pop clip out the bottom. And yeah, I think I'm gonna have to remove my tire to do this properly. So give me a second, guys. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and attack these holes now. To grab these and slide them in here like so this is very basic stuff guys but if you haven't been through this before just want you guys to know just push it over the hole and do that to each one Line it up, get your pop clip. Next, just grab your screws, push it into place. And I'm gonna mock all these in there first before I do the final tight. Okay. It's on there, let's get the tire back on. But while I'm here real quick, I think I'm gonna clean them up real quick there. Oh yeah, definitely filthy. So give me a sec, let's do that. Oh yes, much better. I cannot wait to switch to some two-piece rotors in the front and swap these rear rotors out for something slotted, drilled. But yeah, it looks like we're all set to go. I'm gonna get the wheel back on and let's do the next side. All right, just to look from the back. They just mold really well with the body lines. I think they kind of make the car look wider, which you might really be able to see from this angle. So let's take a quick look around front. It's perfect. Lined up with everything. Looks awesome with my fender mod I did with the silver, which that still looks amazing to me. So yeah guys, pretty simple. Pretty easy mod. Just takes a little bit of time. Anyways guys, thanks so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed the install. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them down below. Hit that like button and subscribe with me and we're gonna be doing a lot more awesome mods here in the future on the QX70S. I'm trying to still black everything in this car out. 
As you can see, we still got the chrome here. So I'm gonna get the sport version of that, black out the infinity symbol, maybe dip this stuff. We'll see, it's all coming along together really nicely. I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave the roof rails silver either. Let me know what you think. Comment again down below. I'll catch you guys next week. I hope you have a fabulous weekend or week whenever you're watching this video and I'll see you soon. Peace out.